Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements, and today we're going to take these four 2x4s and these two pieces of plywood and make a cornhole set. So, let's begin. Alright, we know our two pieces of plywood here are 2x4. So, and we know that our 2x4s here are eight feet long. When you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, wherever your local market is, make sure with two by fours they come in eight foot and they come in 92 inch uh, boards. So make sure you get the eight foot ones. So we got the eight foot ones. We're gonna cut them right in half, 48 inches, and this is gonna make our sides. We also took the two out of the four that were the best quality, had the nicest lines and look to them, and that's because they're gonna be shown on the outside here. So I already put my marks. Drew my lines, so let's go over to the miter saw here and cut these. Next level. Alright, so I keep those as pairs so the board has the same design on uh, both sides of it. What we're going to do now is we've got 24 inches across the front and the back and down the middle. So we need three pieces for each one, so six total. And we're going to deduct three inches from it since we got the width of the board here. So 21 inches, we're going to cut uh, six of these. We'll start with this board. Anything else we need, we'll use the other board over there. And then we'll go from there of actually building this. Now this is going to be a basic uh, cornhole set. The, it's the easiest one to make. We could, In the future we'll make even more difficult one, some cooler looks to it, and some, some different cuts to make it a pop even more. So, let's start with the beginner style though. 21 inches, let's start cutting away. where we're heading to get to this point what we've done is we've clamped the pieces that we've cut into place so we made our frame we marked out 24 inches so we have our center piece go in now all we have to do is start drilling it together this is the basic style of cornhole so we're going to be just doing the simple drills from the outside so you'll see the screws in a future one when we do more of an advanced one we'll hide the screws We'll make some other cool adjustments and designs out of this. So, let's begin by just screwing our three inch screws all the way around and in our middle, then we'll flip it over and do another set of screws. So, let's begin. To create our hole here, we went down nine inches and half the distance, so 12. So that found our center point. From there, we know this, the diameter should be six inches, so three inches down, three inches up. We marked it, and then I had a compass, and I just created the line. Now what we're going to use is the skill saw to cut this out. But first we have to put a pilot hole in here so we can get the skill saw in. So. Let's do that.
right, now that we've got the hole done, let's go by, sand it out a little bit, and then we can start moving on to staining this piece. And, uh, well, first sanding the frame, and then we can start staining this piece. ready to sand these down. Not much to sand here. All we're doing is the outskirt of this piece. The top will be covered and obviously the bottom won't be seen. So, well, let's get to sanding. work on the legs. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop some of our extra pieces down here, make sure it's flat, and draw our line. We'll do the other side, or we'll cut this one, match it up to the other side, and then we'll have two pieces to screw in, and then we can start staining this piece. Alright, measure, make sure it's 12. Line our board up, put two screws in it and we'll have this thing ready to be stained. So now we've got it stained, it's all dry, we can get creative. So this is the design that we went with, nice and simple. We're actually going to put our name at the bottom. Supervisor's going to check it out to make sure my lines are straight, which they should be. So we've done it on one, we're going to take the same measurements and do it on the other one and then we can start painting inside of it. So let's begin. Made sure our lines are nice and tight on here. We've got our paint, which we're going to use Dixie Bell's The Golf. So, 
Just paint inside the lines, let it dry, take the tape off, and see what we got. Alright, we are to the final stages here. We're going to glue and nail down our top. So let's get a look at the top completed. chip brush, we've got a polyurethane, and I've got a paintbrush here. You don't want to shake the poly, we want to stir it. So, we'll get it up off the ground here, we'll get a nice stir in it, and then we'll get this applied to the product. And just like that, we have two cornhole boards a set completed. Beginner style cornhole boards. We even put our name on it here. If you like this and many of our other projects, subscribe, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and leave us some comments. It's time to put these to use this weekend.